on yeah, its head. Quite literally, yeah. The results have gone viral too. So Julia Dang is with us here this morning talking about Christmas trees that are not on the ground. They've been put onto yes, the ceiling. They the are upside down and nobody really knows how this yeah. trend started. They're not easy to maintain if you choose to get a live one. Most of them are artificial, but if you get a live one, how, how do you water it? Where, where do you put the presents? But upside down Christmas trees have been around for many years, and if you don't have a lot of room, they actually may be more practical. Bottoms up. There are a lot of crazy people out there. Crazy? It's really weird. <laughs> or creative. It makes the tree pop. It almost kind of looks like a chandelier. Upside down Christmas trees are popping up or down in hotels and restaurants. Enough major retailers are now stocking them for us to believe someone's got to be buying them. We just needed the one. But maybe not here in Indy. They're selling a lot of greenery, so just more traditional going fairly simple. Deborah Watt has been in the evergreen biz for what seems like ever. Since 61. The tree being called the latest holiday trend had her doing a bit of a 180. It was certainly surprising. It, you stop and you think, what on earth? Like any other tree, they have to be properly anchored. Have some sort of a cable system uh, in the ceiling. If you want to decorate, the trick is to keep the branches short. They're actually coming away from the tree, so they're going to hang down some, but you really want to tuck them up fairly high. But wait, back up. Why would anyone flip their tree upside down? Once you look at it, it kind of makes sense and it takes up less room. It looked neat, you know, to see that tree, the foliage, you know, kind of spreading out in the opposite direction. Not everyone is ready to turn tradition on its head. Probably not going to put a Christmas tree on the ceiling because it's insane. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so one of the things that you haven't been able to mm -mm. see yet, but you really you really need to see this <laughs> okay. from tell, last hour. Tell about the dress form. Okay, so this is not the only kind of tree that's been trending on Pinterest. Look at this. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Oh, I like that. Dress form trees. Yeah, I probably think it's amazing. even harder to make than uh, than the upside down well, trees. I kind of feel like you know, with my fake tree that I've got, you got to be able to saw it off at one point, right? So you've put in all the branches, all the branches, and then saw it off, and then insert the dress form. No, instead. no, no. These they're doing them branch by branch. They're really putting individual all boughs of those. on. Yeah, just, yeah. just to make sure you know they have the curves right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is beautiful though. Think about how beautiful that is. If a dress shop or something like that did that, I think I it'd know. be fantastic. Um, uh, at uh, several libraries, I've seen them make trees out of the library books, which is fantastic oh, yeah. as well. You can color coordinate with the spines and things like that. So that is incredible. Incredible. creativity, you know? Yeah, Pinterest. <laughs> I think Pinterest ruined all Pinterest, of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's 9.15 right now. Uh, let's talk about the forecast. It's, it's tough to get in the holiday spirit. It's going to be 60